Now, how are we going to do this? Let's understand the basic. To calculate the capacitance, I'm going to find out the total charge. I need to know the total depletion region thickness where the charge is going to present. So I'm going to find XD. So here is what I have written. Calculating the depletion capacitance of a reverse bias abrupt PN junction. We understood that the drain and substrate junction is always going to be reverse bias. So we are concerned with an abrupt PN junction. Abrupt means uniformly doped. Reverse bias I explained you and we are concerned in finding this depletion capacitance or the junction capacitance. We have already said that N and P type have their respective doping densities and reverse bias voltage is nothing but V minus. So depletion region thickness. This we have studied in our basic classes. If you don't know for the timing just assume this is the value of the depletion region thickness which is given by square root of 2 into the doping of acceptor plus the doping of donor upon donor into acceptor into phi zero minus V, this entire thing is into epsilon of silicon upon charge Q. So what is this phi zero? This is nothing but the reverse bias voltage. This is acceptor de doping density. This is donor uh, doping density. Phi zero is the built-in junction potential, which we already know is nothing but KT by Q, ln of Na into Nd upon Ni square, correct? We already know this. So with this, we have got the depletion region thickness as we know that we are interested in finding the charge, so for that we need to find out the capacitance value. So depletion region charge stored in the junction can be written, depletion region charge, right, can be written in terms of depletion region thickness. Let's understand this. So we just saw, we just saw the depletion region charge. Now we want to find the total charge here, Q. It's going to be charge into the donor and acceptor present there so it's Na into Nd upon Na plus Nd we already know this into the total area where this charge is present so this is into A into the junction thickness correct depletion region thickness I mean so this will be into Xd so this will give me the total charge which I have written here Qj junction charge is nothing but area A stands for the junction area Q I already explained Na Nd upon Na plus Nd have we already discussed and Xd is nothing but depletion region thickness because it's in 3D, right? So area into thickness. We are going to encounter the depletion region charge, which is nothing but A into XD. So let's put from here the value of XD here. Once you do that and once you rearrange the terms, you'll get the value of QJS to be equal to this. Now the junction capacitance associated with the depletion region is nothing but given by CJ, which is nothing but difference, correct? We know Q is equal to CV. So we can easily say that C is equal to Q by V. Here, there's nothing but difference of charge upon the difference in voltage. So basically, because the voltage is a reverse bias voltage and it keeps on varying, so we need to differentiate our charge with regards to voltage. To so differentiating with regards to the bias voltage, once we differentiate this equation, we'll get the following equation. It's a pure, simple, straightforward differentiation. Let's keep this and say this as equation one. Now we'll write this equation one in a more general format. This is a general format for equation one, where our equation one currently was Cj of V equal to A into epsilon of silicon into Q upon two, Na into Nd upon Na plus Nd into one upon square root of built-in potential minus the reverse bias voltage. I've written a general term for this, A, into CJ0 and CJ0 is nothing but this. I've just substituted that upon whatever was the term with reverse bias voltage and for uh, built in potential where M is nothing but the grading coefficient and for an abrupt junction profile where we have uniformly dobbed acceptor and donor M is equal to half. So you would get exactly the same equation which is seen here and for a linearly graded profile M is equal to three. So you can keep on varying. So the reason why we got this into the general format is if they give us the profile, the junction profile, we can use this general equation to calculate our junction capacitance. So here we got the zero bias junction capacitance per unit area. We got that. We substituted that into the general, I beg your pardon. Here we got the CJV. We found the general expression by putting CJO as nothing but junction capacitance per unit area. So with that, I got the value of my junction capacitance. To end this, we know that the sidewall, the junctions two, three, and four, here if you see again, 
junction 2 3 and 4 had sidewall capacitance because they were surrounded by the channel stop implant which was p plus so they will have the doping of 10 times na let's call that doping as n of sidewall then the value of the sidewall junction capacitance exactly the same equation the only thing which changes here is nothing but the acceptor doping which is now changed to that of the sidewall with that we made an attempt to understand junction capacitance though this is quite a complicated topic currently we have seen it superficially i hope you have followed stay tuned for further clips and thank you very much